Many are predicting that the worst is yet to come, which is unfortunate, said one person here. Until now, they've enjoyed the reputation of being the nation's icebox. Watched a burglar in his home this morning by webcam. As a journalist of over 25 years, stories are what make my world turn. Reporting live from the Dallas Newsroom tonight, Jeff Crilly, Fox 4 News. But in 2008, I took the jump from my familiar life and started a PR firm from my home. We're talking about anyone with a camcorder like the one I'm using becomes a television network. We started slowly growing the company and now we have over a hundred clients and we've branched into the world of live digital broadcasting. I now own four different TV studios with a staff of over 20 and the stories that I now get to share are sometimes the most important of my life. Life has a funny way of coming around full circle. This is The Jeff Crilly Show. have in studio Summers Boutwell. She is the author of this fabulous book, Breaking the Glass Ceiling Without Breaking Yourself. Summers, welcome to the show. Thank you. I'm so glad to be here, Jeff. Well, I have to learn, why did you write the book? Well, I wrote this book because I needed to express some things that I was going through. And I, I've been in the corporate world for 20 years. And I'm a wife and a mother of three young children. And I found myself so focusing so much energy on my work and my career that I was losing focus on my key relationships in my life. Wow. And one story that I, I shared in my TED Talk and share here today is that a few months ago I came home from work and I was just consumed by all the events of the day at work and everything I needed to prepare for the next day. And as I got home and spent time with my family, I was just not, I was present physically, but mentally I was just really thinking about work. And as I was going through the motions of getting my kids ready for bed, my six-year-old daughter at the time, she asked me for something simple. You know, she asked me to lay down with her and stay with her until she fell asleep. And I said, yes, I can do that, but not for very long. I need to get up and do some work. And what she said next, it really just took my breath away and made me pause. She turned around and she looked up at me with her big brown eyes and she said, why can't you just be my mom? Wow. And that was a trigger for me to know that I was just out of balance and losing focus of being present with those key relationships in my life. And as I was talking to other women, I realized that I wasn't the only one that was feeling that way. And I really wanted to provide that voice and that transparency and make it okay to talk about that, that we're all in the same journey together. I want to talk about your book uh, in, in detail in a minute, but uh, having a TED Talk is a huge deal. So I'm going to yes. pause for a second. We're going to roll just a clip from your TED Talk. The role of the modern woman is amazing, but exhausting. With the endless pursuit of success, balance, and purpose. The reality is, sometimes we hide behind our busyness as an excuse not to pursue our true calling and purpose. How do you break the glass ceiling without breaking yourself? How do you lead an intentional life of purpose that is transformational and not exhausting? Wow. I am so impressed. I've never given a TED Talk. I've, I've given thousands of talks, but I've never give, given a TED Talk. What was that like? It was a great experience. And, I mean, one of the main things that I loved or took away from it was just being there on stage with so many other amazing people to learn from and uh, just to build those connections in life and, and to 
hear those stories. Absolutely. Well, I watched it. It's on YouTube. If, uh, if, if you're interested, go to YouTube and, and just Google Summer Spoutwell and you'll find the, the whole clip. Uh, in your book, you talk about relinquishing control. What does that mean? Well, when that's something that I, in the book, coach people through. And I think it's so important when you think about it's, it's human nature to want to do everything a certain way and, and just control everything. And in that process, what I have learned is in doing that, you not only drain so much energy from yourself, but then you also remove that joy of somebody else being able to step up and accomplish something. And, you know, if I think about uh, at home and at work, you know, really empowering at work your team to really step up and be, come to their full potential, yes. really makes them more happy and successful and joy and it doesn't drain you as much if you're trying to do it all and control it. And it makes for a better culture, a better environment. And the same thing goes at your, in your home and your relationships as well. You know, asking for help. You yes. know, one of the big things I learned is I finally asked for help from, from one of my friends to trade off watching kids. And that brought so much relief to me. But then the extra joy we got was she could help us. Mm. And then also we built this amazing relationship between our children that now they're like family to us. And so if I had tried to control all that and do it myself, I would have missed out on so many things. Yes. Myself and those around me. How, give us the secrets to being present because I find myself, you know, we have these, these cell phones and so they're always buzzing and chiming and uh, sometimes I find myself, I'm out to lunch with somebody and there's just a little buzz and that buzz could be nothing. Uh, but then I find myself distracted and I'm thinking about who's trying to reach me. How do you, how do you become present uh, with all this technology? Well, you know, something I think about is really, and I talk about this and coach through this in my book, is making sure that you're crystal clear on the key relationships in your life and what it is that, what is your impact with them. And starting there and then taking those steps back to say, okay, how do I make sure that I am being fully present in those moments to accomplish what I want to do there? Yes. And, you know, in this season, I even think about you know, I, I love to organize my life and my schedule and, you know, there's the tips about organizing your closet and, you know, they suggest taking everything out and really thinking of what you want to keep and only putting those things back in that you want to keep. So really taking out that noise and that busyness of what's not necessary, what doesn't fit yes. with your life and making sure that you're saying yes to those things that fit and no or delegating uh, the others that, that don't fit or align with those key relationships. And so after your daughter said that to you, and it's such a powerful story, uh, how did you change your life? Are you, when you're home, are you home? Uh, Absolutely, yeah. yes. And really, I mean, kind of exactly what I talked about before, really changing my mindset at work and at home. At work, what am I doing there to be present to build up my team? Mm -hmm. so that they they come to the level they need to be in so that my energy and everybody's energy is present there but doesn't bleed over into their home life you know I'm thinking that for my team as well as for me so that when we do go home we can let that go and focus on our family Wow yeah. well you have been a great guest we're gonna put your website up so that people can get a hold of you get your book and and book you to speak uh, give us the domain name uh, your website is? So it's breakingtheglassceilingbook.com. Outstanding. And uh, you, you're based here in Dallas-Fort Worth, but you will travel to, to do uh, public speaking. Yes, yes. Outstanding. Well, yeah. Summers, uh, thank you so much for being a guest on the show. Oh. And we'll have to have you back again soon. Great. Thank you for having me. That's it for now. We'll see you next time.